Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to install Windows 10 on external hard drive as a portable operating system. Ever wanted a copy of Windows you can take with you wherever you go to use on any computer you want? Yeah, it's possible. Here's how to install a portable version of Windows 10 on a USB hard drive that you can take anywhere. So let's get started. You only need a few simple things to do this work such as number 1 a Windows installation disk or ISO image. We will recommend you that using Windows 10, Windows 8.1 and Windows 8. Number 2 AOMEI partition assistant. This is the advanced program that will walk you through the installation process. You can use Windows default program Windows to go from control panel for the installation process. But Windows have set some limitation on their program. That's why we will do this using AOMEI Partition Assistant. Number 3. A USB 3.0 flash drive or an external hard drive which you prefer. Remember that the USB 3.0 flash drive must be at least 32 GB of capacities and the USB flash drive or an external hard drive must be completely empty. At first, you need to download Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 ISO image file according to your PC system, 64-bit or 32-bit, from Microsoft's official site. Next, you need to download AOMEI Partition Assistant by googling. I have already downloaded, so I am not downloading it anymore. Alright, next insert your removable drive on your PC's USB port. Here I am using my 2TB external hard drive as you can see. If you want, you can use a USB 3.0 flash drive. Remember that the flash drive must be USB 3.0 and at least 32GB of capacities. Next open the AOMEI partition assistant. Next click on Windows to go creator. Then select your removable drive from here as you can see. Next click on browse. Again click on browse. Then select the windows installation disk or ISO image. And then click on open. Next click on ok. Next click on proceed. And before click on yes, at first carefully read the information. And if you are ready to continue the process, then click on yes. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete and until it's ready for use. Alright, here shows that the operation completed successfully. Now click on OK and click on Cancel. Next just click on Restart and be ready to enter your PC's boot manager with hitting on F12. Note, if F12 key is not enabled on the keyboard, then just restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 plus Dell combination. After entering the BIOS, enable the F12 key from main tab, then hit on F10 key on the keyboard to saving and exit from BIOS. Alright, next select your removable drive from boot manager. and then hit enter. Now be patient for a while, do not do anything.
Now system will start and be ready to enter your PC's boot manager with hitting on F12. Next select your removable drive from boot manager and then hit enter. Now be patient for a while do not do anything. Now select your country and then click on next. Next select your keyboard layout and then next. Next select your second keyboard layout. Now I am just skip it. Alright, here you can connect with your Wi-Fi connection which is very necessary for device driver installation or you can skip it at this moment which is not recommended option for your device. Now be patient for a while, do not do anything. Now system will restart and be ready to enter your PC's boot manager with hitting on F12. Next select your removable drive from boot manager and then hit enter. Alright, this is the Windows 10 license agreement. Now just click on accept. Next type your email, phone or Skype ID for online account or type which you want for offline account. and then click on next then type your password which is very necessary for your device protection and then hit enter then click on yes next click on accept patient for a while do not do anything windows will start automatically We are done as you can see. Now let's check whether this portable version of Windows is working properly on another computer or not.
At first, I am just connecting this removable drive with my another PC's USB port. Now, I just press the power button and just hitting on the F2 key to enter the BIOS as you can see. Next, I am going to boot tab and I just select the inserted removable drive using up and down arrows key on the keyboard. And I just move this removable drive up the list using F6 keys. This means that the removable drive is selected as the default boot drive. Next, I just press F10 key on the keyboard to saving changes and exit from BIOS. As you can see, now hard drive activity light is constantly blinking. It means HDD is correctly configured as a default boot drive and now it is active. We are done as you can see. Now this portable version of Windows 10 ready to go with me and it's ready to use on any computer wherever I want. We hope you will like. Of course let us know your opinion. If you have any question please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.